Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you an easy way to split your data set into different sheets based on the values in a given column. Let's take a look. So here's our data set and it's got a date column here. And this is the column that we wanna split our data based on. So we wanna split our data into separate sheets based on the year and the month in the date column. So the first step, that we're going to do in order to get this done is to create a column with unique values for each of the rows in our data set. So I'm gonna right click and insert a new column and I'm gonna call this one ID. And for the first two rows, I'm just gonna insert the values here. And if I select both of those, then I can double click on the fill handle to fill that sequence down. And if I press control down, then we're gonna see that that's been filled down completely. And we've got 50,036 rows of data here. So now each value is unique in this column for each of our rows in our data set. And this is going to be essential later on as this trick for splitting our data is going to be using a pivot table and pivot tables aggregate data but having a unique value in each of our rows is going to allow us to avoid aggregation in our pivot table and return the entire data set. Step two for splitting our data set into multiple sheets is going to be to create a column that only contains the year and the month value. And this is gonna be the column that we're going to split based on. So let's create a new column. Let's right click and insert a column and here I'm gonna call this period. And for the values in this column, we're going to use the text function with our date value. And here we're only going to return the year and the month. And when I press enter, you can see that we just have the year value and the month value from our date. And we can double click on the fill handle and fill this formula down and if I press control down, you can see that it's been filled to the end. And now this is the column that we're going to split our data set into new sheets based on. In the next step, we're going to create a pivot table based on this data set. So we can select any cell in our data set and go up to the insert tab. And if we click on the pivot table command, we can choose from table slash range. And then we just wanna make sure that the selected range includes all of our data. And here we can choose a new worksheet to add our pivot table into, and then press okay. And now we're gonna get our blank pivot table. Now in our next step, we're going to add all of our fields into the pivot table. And we're going to start with the ID field. And we need to make sure that this is in the rows area of our pivot table, as this is the trick that's going to make sure that our data is not aggregated within the pivot table. After that, we're going to want our period field in the filters area, as this is the field that we're going to split our data based on. And this needs to be in the filters area in order to do that. And then after this, we can add the rest of our fields into our pivot table. And to do that, I'm just gonna click on this and this is going to defer the update of our pivot table until after we have all of our fields in the correct areas. So now we can add all of our fields into the rows area and then add our metric fields into the values area. And let's update our pivot table. And now we've got all the fields in our pivot table. In our next step, we're gonna change the layout of our pivot table so that it looks more like a tabular data set. So currently all the fields in our rows area are in a single column inside of our pivot table. And what we actually want is for each of these fields to be in its own separate column. So in order to do that, we're gonna go up to the design tab and we can change the report layout into tabular form. And now each of the fields in our rows area appear on the same row, but we have these subtotals and we wanna get rid of those. So we're gonna go back up to the design tab and turn off subtotals. 
and we're also going to turn off grand totals. Now that we've got our pivot table looking like our source data set in tabular format, the next step is going to be the magic trick that's going to automatically split our data into separate worksheets. Now in order to do this, we're going to go up to the Analyze tab, and if we click on this little arrow next to the Options, we're going to find the Show Report Filter Pages option. And if we click on that, it's going to open up this menu, and this is going to list all of the fields in our Filters area. Now here we've only got the period field in our Filters area. And so if we select this and click on OK, then Excel is going to automatically create these sheets for us. So here we have a sheet named 2015-07, and in it we have a pivot table that's been filtered on the value 2015-07 in our period field. And so for each value in our period field, we actually have a new sheet, and that sheet contains a pivot table filtered on that value. Now for the last step, we're going to remove the pivot tables from each of these sheets and keep only the data. And in order to do that, we're first going to select our first sheet. And then if we hold the shift key and select the last sheet, that's going to select all of the sheets in between. And now any action we perform on this visible sheet here is also going to be performed on all the other selected sheets. So what we're going to do is copy this pivot table data, control C, and then over here to the right, we're going to press control shift and V to paste as values. And then we can select our pivot table again and right click and clear the contents to get rid of our pivot table and right click and delete those columns. And we can also right click and delete these top two rows and then format our date as well. Let's go up to the home tab and turn that into a date. And now if we check out each of our sheets here, you can see that the pivot table has been removed and we just have our data now. So there you go. That's how you can easily split your data into different sheets based on the values in a given column. So you can do this with a pivot table and the show report filter pages feature. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.